Good morning everyone. Today we're doing another interesting product video on um, one of the major ranges we do here at Kingfisher. Now these are all wholesale so any of your big popular fishing stores and anything worth their metal wall have these in full full ranges at the shops. This is the drop sock range of real and or let's say real covers with a bit of rod protection in there as well. So we've got a whole range of products in front of us. We're going to start here at the more fiddly bit. So you've got starting out. Everyone who's any anyone who has ever fished with braid, excuse me, has had the the unfortunate case of getting your finger cut by the braid when you're casting over a long period of time, or just wearing on the finger from that constant rubbing of the braid when you're casting. Now, this drop sock finger cover works beautifully. It's universal for sizing, so you don't have to worry if you've got a bigger hand pork sausage finger you don't have to worry or if you've got a skinny finger you don't really have to worry about that it's a finger that just slips onto your finger and then the strap is going to sit along there and it's going to wrap around the nice thing about them is the same covers that the the or same materials the real covers are made of so if they get wet they dry nice and quickly they don't hold smell so you're not going to get a stinky finger which is lovely um, they've got a bit of a thickened section on the actual finger part itself so when you're casting the braid doesn't isn't going to wear through that so you can get hundreds of usages out of the one casting finger so if you're someone who doesn't like the bionic finger or if you like fishing with lures and spinning and things like that that casting finger is really going to help a lot when you when you're throwing and it's left hand or right hand which is the nice thing it's not a glove that fits over your hand so you don't have to buy one for your left one for your right moving on from that You've got this fantastic product, which means you're not going to have to steal your Mrs. Hairbands or elastics from the shop. They are spool belts. Now, the spool belts are the same material that neoprene with the, the nice soft cover on the outside. That's now going to fit over your spool itself. So, when you've got your braid all wrapped on there, as soon as you let it go off and it'll fall off and gets all tangled and everything, it's just a mess. Rubber bands or anything um, of that nature sometimes tend to degrade in the sun. These don't, it just slides nicely, nice and tightly and snugly over the reel. Keeps the braid and your line and everything nicely in order. And um, they do them in two sizes, in large and small, and you get a pack of four. So it's lovely, you're getting your two large ones for your bigger reels and for your spinning reels, the two smaller ones. Moving on from that, we do these rod straps. Now the rod strap has got rubber on the inside and it's got just a piece of neoprene. It's basically very similar to your finger glove that it's a, a strip of neoprene, it's got um, a piece of uh, velcro on the one side and the rest of the strap itself is actually made of that uh, very similar material to the soft side of velcro, not the little hooks. So you can strap it around a multitude of rods from the, the smalls obviously being for smaller sticks, the large being for your big uh, surf rods and things like that. They've got rubber on the inside so they don't slip down the rod or slip off and they're going to grip nicely on the rod and then the velcro obviously you can tighten it nice and tight. Those are beautiful for when you're traveling or if you're walking from one spot to another and you need to keep all the rods together because there's nothing worse than when you're trying to carry sticks and they're doing this the whole time and moving around. So from there we're now going to move on to the actual real covers where this the drop sock actually got its name from. Now there are three basic types, um, four actually. We've got our fixed pool covers, so your, your grinders, and then you've got your multipliers. So they do a bait caster, and then they do your normal multipliers there. They also do a fly reel cover, um, which works very, very well if you want to keep spare spools. The fly reel with its design, actually it fits very nicely if you, for your smaller spools, and then your bait caster or your small multiplier will fit very nicely for if you've got a bigger spool, like an 8,000 hour or something like that. If you want to keep a spare spool in your box, keep it nice and safe, stop getting banged and around and things. Now, your fixed spool covers, they do from a small over here, all the way through to an XL. Now that will cover pretty much any reel in the market that's worth using. Um, and that's the same kind of basic structure I'll go through in a second. Then we do the bait caster, which is a universal size. Then they do also a small to an XL in the multipliers. 
The only reels these won't fit are your really, really big Marlin reels. So your, your 130s and your 80s. The 80 we might squeeze in there, it's more likely a 50 size. As you can see here, very, very simple to use. You got your beautiful reel. You're gonna just, to get it, to protect it from being bashed and uh, scratched and all sorts when you're traveling, just gonna open the Velcro, slide them in, fits nice and snugly over the top. It's easy to do this if you've got three hands, like most things. And you're just gonna strap it closed like that. Now that reel can still move if you wanted it to, but that's gonna keep it protected. Now it's a neoprene cover, nice and soft on the inside. It's, you can use it for left or right hand, which is the nice thing about the coffee grinders. You can swap them inside out. Now that just protects it from any bashes or sea spray getting on there if you were traveling in some area or mud or anything. Um, but there's a big, big thing we need to talk about at the moment. A lot of guys use these for storing their reels long term. Now, we really don't recommend that because the problem with these is you're gonna come off your boat or come from the, the sea, you put this onto your, your reel, you travel back to your house, then you take it off of here, you wash it, and then you put this cover back on. Now, most people that seems fine. If you start looking at it and if you're gonna put your reel away for a long period of time, this is good for traveling. If you're gonna put it on after you've had your reel and used your reel on the surf, you're gonna get a lot of salt build up in here. Now the material, you can get the salt grains filling in there, even if you wash it out, rinse it out, you're still gonna get a bit of salt in there. Now that means if you're gonna put your reel away for a month or two months or whatnot, if you're unlucky enough not to be able to fish often, then that salt's gonna sit there, pushed up against the reel in a nice, humid, small environment, your reel is gonna rust. No matter what protection, what um, paint it's been covered with, what um, galvanizing process or whatever has been done to it, your reel is going to rust. So with these, we highly recommend use them for traveling. If you're gonna store your reels, Rinse them properly, give them a bit of a spray with uh, some silicon spray or whatnot, let them dry 100% and then keep them in their boxes or keep them in a nice display shelf. If you've got a lot of reels, it actually looks very nice to put them on display. So that's it, pretty much. You've got your, the whole range, I mean they do a very, very wide range of stuff. It's all quality products so that the, the actual straps themselves don't just tear. And yeah, we pretty much cover every reel you can think of, every spool you want to do a belt for or spare spool you want to put there. And yeah, the finger glove also is a, is a big, uh, big saver. So yeah, the drop sock range. Cheers, guys.